Hello children. Welcome to English class. Today we are going to study about the topic preposition. What is a preposition? A preposition is a word placed before a noun, a pronoun or a noun phrase to show the relation between the person or thing denoted by it and something else mentioned in the sentence. Prepositions are words that help to define the relationship between different elements in a sentence. The relations expressed by prepositions include time, place, direction, manner, possession, reason, etc. Prepositions are so called because they are preposed, that is, they are put before nouns or noun phrases. For example, plants grow in gardens. In this sentence, we have used the preposition in before the noun gardens. The elephant passed through a thick forest. Here we have used the preposition through before the noun phrase a thick forest. To know more about prepositions and their function, let us study about their use in detail. Prepositions may be a single word or a group of words. A few single word prepositions are in, on, under, behind, etc. They are called simple prepositions. There are multi-word prepositions too. Some of them are according to, in spite of, in front of, along with, etc. They are called compound prepositions. Prepositions are classified into three main kinds. They are first, prepositions of time, second, prepositions of place or position, third, prepositions of movement or direction. First, prepositions of time. Prepositions that indicate when the actions take place are called prepositions of time. They are used to indicate a specific period of time such as month, date, time and day. For example, the second bell rings at 7 a.m. Here the preposition at is used for a precise time. They will go to a hill station in summer. In this sentence we have used the preposition in. We use the preposition in for seasons, months, years and long periods. He attends his classes on Mondays. In this sentence, we have used the preposition on. We use on for days and dates. Some other prepositions of time are from, till, during, since, for, etc. Second, prepositions of place or position. Prepositions that tell us about the position of things are called prepositions of place or position. They give us information about the place or location or position. It means the prepositions of place are used to refer to the place where something or someone is located. For example, the cat is under the chair. Here we have used the preposition under. The car stopped in front of our gate. Here we have used the preposition in front of. In these sentences, the prepositions under and in front of tell us where something or someone is. Some commonly used prepositions of place are between, behind, above, over, etc. Third, 
Prepositions of movement or direction. Prepositions that denote the direction or movement of persons or things are called prepositions of direction or movement. They are used to show movement to or from a place. For example, last evening we went to the cinema hall. In this sentence, we have used the preposition to. Sam jumped into the river to save the old man. Here we have used the preposition into. The preposition to has a sense of destination and the preposition into is used with the verbs denoting motion. Some commonly used prepositions of direction or movement are towards, around, across, through, etc. Now we will be discussing the use of certain prepositions. First, the prepositions by and with. By is used with the agent or doer of the actions while with is used before the instrument of the action. For example, the snake was killed by the man with a stick. Here we have used the preposition by before the doer of the action man. We have used the preposition with before the instrument of the action stick. A tree was cut by Raju with an axe. In this sentence Raju is the doer of the action so we have used by before the word Raju. Here the word axe is the instrument of the action so we have used with before it. Now we will discuss the use of the prepositions between and among. Between is used for two persons or things and among is used for more than two. For example, the table is lying between two chairs. Here, the table is lying in the middle of two chairs. So, we have used the preposition between in this sentence. The boy was standing among the plants. Here, the boy was standing in the middle of more than two plants. So, we have used the preposition among in this sentence. Now, we will learn about the use of after and behind in the sentences. After refers to time and behind refers to place. After refers to the time following the completion of an action. It is used to talk about something that happens later than something else. Behind refers to the place. Behind is used when something or someone is at the back. For example, I take coffee after sunrise. Here the preposition after refers to the time following the completion of an action. Anu stood behind the door. We use the preposition behind when something or someone is at the back. The prepositions in, at and on can be used as both prepositions of time and place. Look at these sentences to note the difference. The book is on the table. In this sentence, on is a preposition of place. We use the preposition on when something or someone is touching the surface. My birthday is on 18th July. Here the preposition on shows the exact date. On is used as a preposition of time. 
the mangoes are in the basket in this sentence the preposition in shows position or place manu was born in 2010 we have used the preposition in here it is used as a preposition of time preposition in is used before seasons months years etc fahad met me at the railway station in this sentence the preposition at is used as a preposition of place naman met him at 10 am we have used at to show the exact time in this sentence at is a preposition of time we have come to the end of our topic preposition here is a quick summary of what we have learned so far a preposition is a word which shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and some other word in a sentence prepositions are of three kinds prepositions of time prepositions of time tell us when something happened prepositions of place or position they tell us where something or someone is prepositions of moment or direction they indicate the moment of noun or pronoun from one place to another hope you have understood the topic properly thank you